Hey guys, this is Ian Harden from Red Pie Fitness. Today I'm going to be demonstrating some rowing technique. First, you want to set up these, these foot placements so the strap is right over the balls of your feet. Very important that you have that set up. Really easy to get in and out, really easy to adjust these. Next, you want to make sure that you have this thing right here is called the damper, and that's going to be the resistance on the rower. It goes from one, that's the easiest, to 10, that's the most difficult. You want to stay between four and six, right? Many people, especially guys, go way too high in intensity, and it's not as hard when you go that high because you can't row as hard, right? So if you stay between four and six for most rowing pieces, that's going to be the most difficult range because it's going to be hard enough where you can continue to do it. Eventually, eight, nine, 10, they're gonna get so hard where you just have to slow down and it's gonna make it actually easier and you're gonna get less out of it. So stay between four and six on the damper. If you're stronger, you can go to six. If you're more cardio based, you can go down to four. So now we're gonna have, we're gonna put our feet in. So the, the row is a couple different movements. So when we come in to catch, when we finish the, the movement here, we're going to go arms first. Arms, then we're going to lean slightly forward, feel those hamstrings start to stretch. Slightly forward, then we're going to pull ourselves in with our hamstrings. We're going to reach, catch, pull, 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 then finish with the arms. Right, you see a lot of people that do this. All right, it's actually going to be more segmented, but if you get good at it, it's going to look really smooth. So it's arms, reach, chest up, eyes up, catch, drive, finish. So you want to explode out of these blocks. It should be a powerful movement really driving out of these blocks as hard as you possibly can. And the recovery is gonna be about two counts longer. So the explosion, that pull is gonna be a one count. The recovery is gonna be a two count. So it's gonna be one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two. So if you have a two count recovery, you have to explode out of the block to make that worthwhile. Make sure you breathe, make sure you relax. The upper back should be nice and tight. So if your upper back is not tight, when you go to pull, it's gonna look like this. And then you're gonna end up pulling with all back. So when you keep that chest up, shoulders squeezed together, you can catch, and you can really drive with the legs. Rowing is about 80 to 85% legs, then the rest is upper body. So if you're feeling it too much in your upper body, think about your technique, probably put more legs into it. Ian Harden, Red 5 Fitness, rowing technique.